Hi, I'm Stephen Langton, and I was born around the year 1150 in England. Though my father was a landowner, I decided to pursue a religious career. After entering the clergy, I studied in Paris and wrote several works on theological topics. When the Archbishop of Canterbury died, I was elected to that position with strong support from the Pope. However, King John of England refused to recognize me as Archbishop due to the long-standing feud with the Church. <laughs> My election as Archbishop of Canterbury in 1207 came at a tumultuous time in English politics. King John was not only quarreling with the Church, he was also struggling to hold on to English lands in France. To finance his wars, he levied heavy taxes, and under England's feudal government, barons and other nobles had to pay taxes to the king for privilege and land and protection. King John's punishments for those who did not pay were arbitrary and severe. As a result, the barons felt that their traditional rights were being ignored. It's true. Eventually, the angry barons took up arms and captured London. Soon thereafter, they forced the king to put his seal on a document that later became the Magna Carta or Great Charter. I was one of the witnesses of this event. The Magna Carta was an agreement between the barons and the king. In return for keeping his rule, King John agreed to uphold the traditional rights of the barons. The Magna Carta limited the king's power by reminding him that he did not have absolute power and even the king had to follow the law. Originally, the Magna Carta was intended only to protect the rights and property of the barons, the wealthy elites of England. Eventually, however, its protections were extended to all British people. The Magna Carta became one of the cornerstones of constitutional rights in Britain.